Welcome back, guys, and welcome to another episode of Connecticut Angler. We're staying in a uh, rented house here in eastern Connecticut, and it just so happens that there's a stream right down the road that I believe probably has brookies in it. We are kind of like at mid-September right now. It's actually a perfect time for brookies right now. If you rewind just a month and a half ago, these streams were probably stagnant and at least in the mid 70s, totally unsuitable for uh, for trout fishing. But since then, things have cooled off. It's getting very, very cool overnight, 50s every night. And we have finally had enough rain to really get these streams moving again. So a perfect time to prospect a brand new stream here in Eastern Connecticut. So, well, they're watching all the wackos at the pool. It's a swimming I want to see. Cameo, guys. I am going down to the stream. Bye. See what we can do. <laughs> My children are insane. Yeah, so right down where that guardrail is is right where the stream is. I said, so what we're gonna do is right past this road here, we're gonna take the street that kind of T-bones into and hike a little further downstream so that the fish upstream, yeah. you know, move upstream while fishing. But there's a decent pool right here, so I'm just gonna make a cast right there, see if uh, see if there's anything in the little spot that I spied there when I was checking it out yesterday. Like in the little spot right beneath that cascade, looks like a good possible spot for brookies. That was a great drift. No takers. Look, that's not a good sign. This is a great pool. Nada. Wow. All right. Move downstream a little bit. Oh yeah, see there's a lot of pools down there. This is gonna be perfect. Uh, carefully. <laughs> this is a good place. You know, if there's gonna be brookies in here, I don't see why this, I don't know, roughly 500 foot stretch would not, uh, would not offer up at least some of them. All right, not, not too treacherous at all. And now it's just a matter of moving upstream, basically. Then again, I'm just assuming there's brook trout here. There may not be. It is possible that this place is barren. It certainly looks the part. I mean, it looks like there should be trout here. This is a nice sized pool. There's no brookies in this pool, that's a bad sign. Very bad sign. Oh, that was a good drift. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not good. It's a great looking spot. If there were brookies here, I'd expect some to be there. Oh, these are great looking spots. Great looking spots. I cannot believe that I haven't found a fish yet.
because it's entirely possible that over over that drought that we had, you know, going back not too far, that a lot of these fish would have uh, moved down to the lower sections of the stream where they would have had more water. This is probably barely moving. All right, guys, so we just uh, devised our plan here, but I suppose I should let you guys know so that you know what the hell we're doing. So the plan here is to walk quite a ways further downstream. I don't know, I'd say at least like a thousand feet. And uh, hopefully the stream's a little bit bigger there. Maybe moving a little further downstream, we'll be able to find some places where the fish were taking shelter during the prior drought. And uh, I'll prospect from there. And if we can't find anything in that stretch of the stream either, then we'll move out to the still water to a dam that's fairly close by. We'll see what we can do there. So that's the, that's the plan. Uh, I don't have anything else. Okay. Well. Moment of truth. See if we can't find any fish in the first couple hundred feet. A really nice pool here. Oh, got one! Yeah! All right. There's gotta be a trout. Yes, indeed. Nice little wild brookie. Took the dry fly. Not bad. Very, very dark fish. Just beautiful, beautiful. Hit like a freight train. I'll admit, I was starting to doubt. You know, we got the proof. Wild brookies indeed. All right, folks, first rookie to the net. Admittedly, I was kind of starting to doubt a little bit whether or not the stream was gonna cough up any wild rookies, but uh, it looks like moving down to the uh, downstream portions worked out. There's definitely more water in this section of the stream than there was another, there I'd say, go. a thousand feet up, so it must receive at least some small tributaries uh, in the meantime. But uh, let's see what else we can find. I think this is a really nice pool on the other side of this tree. Oh yeah. Yep, I see several brookies down there. Several brookies. Yep. Now the interesting thing is they're facing downstream. I don't really know why that is. I'm gonna guess that there's some kind of whirlpool here. But do you wanna see the brookies real quick before I end up, end up casting out there? Now, they're very spooky, so you gotta be careful, but. Oh yeah. See them? There's at least five or six down there. Okay. Here goes nothing. I think I might have I might have spooked them already. They just kind of scattered when the fly hit. Give it one more try. Oh, oh, got one. He's pulling me under the sticks. Am I gonna get him? Uh, we got him. Uh, it's a fall fish. <laughs> Little fall fish. Took the nymph. Not the target species, but what the hell. Alright folks, well, I mean, we tried our damnedest here. I mean, at least I got one brookie to the net, so I mean, it hasn't been a failed expedition on this little stream. And I should say, I mean, I have looked up the survey data, and although there has been brookies found here during surveys a number of times, it's always been a pretty low quantity, so it's not a high density brookie stream. Having come away with one, I'm satisfied with that. So, now we are about to head up to the road here and hike down to the dam. See if we can't get ourselves some warm water species. Let's hit it.
guys. Rounding it off with uh, some little warm water fish, just a little sunfish, but hell, it's fun just the same. <laughs> This is a little outing. <laughs> Not a whole lot of fish to write home about here, but it has been a fun sort of end of summer little outing while we're over here in Eastern Connecticut. And uh, I think it's just about beer o'clock, so I would say it's it's high time to head back. And in fact, we don't even have to walk back if they're gonna come on down here and pick us up. Couldn't ask for more than that. <laughs> so I'm gonna be cracking a beer pretty soon. Autumn is coming, along with some really exceptional fishing opportunities. See you guys out there. You think so? Is it a one piece? Uh, it's going. It's going. <laughs>